Hey, hi friends. Good evening. So welcome back, Sri Krishna Soft Skills. Okay. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, like uh, gateways. So how to connect the gateway and how to schedule refreshes in Power BI service. So as of now, then we have learned about the how to publish the one report into the Power BI service and how to create the pro workspace and uh, premium workspace. Okay. Yeah. Now today you can see just we open this pro workspace. Here there are some of the data sets and then report and then some dashboards and some of the another report name that is the D underscore RLS and then okay there are a lot of things here there this is the pro uh, workspace okay yeah now then we will see just I want to schedule refreshing here you see the next refresh there is no not applicable so only we will give you the refresh option in data set not for report in the report you see there are the what we did in visual just you go to this button just you may only the sales by segment right now then we click the second button then you may see the discount brand by sales now you click the default then you may see the sales by segment and discount brand by segment so this is the report so usually then which we developed the all the pages in power bi desktop so the same pages then we will see in the power bi service right okay now then you go back so this is the data set so here then this is the refresh now okay this is the schedule refresh when you give the schedule refresh, for example, then you want a gateway. You see, when you click this one, it is navigate to the data set. Okay. In the data set, there, are, there is no gateway showing that there is no gateway. So then you will go and then you need to, when I click the gateway connection, you may observe there are you do not have any gateway. Okay. Now then how to connect the gateway? You see the install now. Otherwise then you click here. Otherwise then you go to the these three dots and downloads and data gateways. You see data gateways. Okay. Yeah. Just you click on the data gateways. Then you may, you see the, this is the connect to the on-premises data source with you want to the download standard gateway or you do want to download the personal gateway. Now I am using the personal mode gateway. You see, you see just I am where you want to save. You see the power BI. So then you go and softwares, where the softwares. Now you see the on-premises gateway. Yes, it is downloading. Once it downloading, then after we need to install that one gateway so it will take just 50 seconds more okay yeah so this is the way how you download the first time so whenever the interviewer will ask you the question so gateway see yeah what is the gateway and how many types of gateways did you ever work with the gateways in earlier yes of course it is a only one time activity actually when i raise the ticket to the admin team or the it team so they will come and they will download the gateways and then they will install to my laptop or pc so once the we download and install then it will show here the gateways right so this is only one time activity so yeah in my company, the admin team will do, but I know the how to connect the gateways and how to schedule the refresh, how to refresh. So we have learned in the earlier classes, like in the first class or second class, in the pro license, there are eight refreshes are available. And the premium license, there are 48 refreshes available. So what is the eight and 48? What is the importance of the 
refreshes. Why we require? Because the user wants to see the data every 15 minutes. Because of you see the Flipkart or Amazon or demand, whatever. So the final ultimate goal is to business, right? Then you sell, you uh, sold prod, any product, so how much profit and how much sales had happened, right? Any pro, any type business, for example, you are a pharma sector, then how much sales had happened in the month of the month, uh, uh, every month end, every quarter end. So like that, the refreshes will give you the user, okay, where the sales are happening more. Okay, in every half an hour, for example, the big deal, big deal is there, Flipkart, for example. So, in general, there are one day, for example, one crowds of sales. But in the big sales, in every 50 minutes, like crowd, crowds of sales. Okay, where the sales happen? In Hyderabad or some Mumbai, some other Bangalore. So, why sales not happen in some Warangal or some Vijayawada cities? So, immediately they will meet all the managers from the U Varangal and then Vijayawada and they will discuss and then how to do where which products are selling. So they will take the decision. So that is the reason why the importance. Okay. Yeah. Now you see we have downloaded this one. Just you go to and open this one. Okay. Now you see this is the C drive. Then if you want to change then you want to change. So this PC and then uh, D drive and then softwares. Okay, as per your the convenient, then you may, yeah, see, accept and then install. Okay, you see the install. Now, just click the install button, it will installing. <coughs> yeah, once it will install, just you will give the your credentials. Okay, what are the credentials in, in Power BI service, then you may give the these credentials. Okay, so installing this, it will take uh, below one minute time. Okay, so it is not working with your personal mail ID or any other your mail IDs. So it will work only the which the Power BI service mail IDs. You see, this is the this is the mail ID, my mail ID this is the company mail ID. Okay, I'm giving this one. Yes, sign in. So it will ask the password. Yeah, I'm giving the password also. Yes, which one? This is this one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm getting the approval. Yes, get it, it get it done by approved. Yeah, now then you see, as of now, you see there are there is no gateway. When I click here, it will navigate to the this gateway to the Power BI. Okay, it is one time activity only. And once you download and you configure that one, you see the gateway installed online ready to use. Yes, okay, now you close this one. And you go and then just you refresh this one here. You go and then you refresh. Now you are able to see the gateway. You see, now, the, earlier there is no gateway. Now, just I connected the gateways. Got it? Yeah, this is the personal gateway. It is an on-demand gateway also. So, what is the difference between then? We will let you. Okay? Yeah. Now, then you apply this one. For example, then which one? Visualization one. Then we on the gateway and then we will uh, add the sources. Where is the sources? Data set and then. Yeah, you see, when I click this one, just apply. Now you see the gateway connected. It is updated. So visualization one gateway connected updated. Now yeah, then you will give the schedule refresh. Okay. So then. So it is applied and then now you able to give the schedule refreshes. 
So where is the schedule refreshes? Configure the data. I think parameter. So there is no parameter here. Then if the schedule refreshes, now we are going to refresh here. So there is uh, uh, the content and then we add another tab. Yeah, we are giving this personal gateway and now data source credentials and uh, what is this one? I think cars image edit credentials financial image real time. Uh, okay, and think for example, you need to give this gateway for this one. Then you apply and go to this one. That is it. Something here getting the some error. Okay, I will let you. Yeah, yes. Now then you will see. So now once you connect the personal gateway, you see now schedule refresh. This off and on. Now then daily basis, then I am giving the same the 530 timings. So the time. So you add another time. So at what time then I want to now time is 16. For example, uh 12 hours, so then 1637, nothing but uh, 1650. Then I will give you the 30 minutes, 630. I think 7 o'clock it will be okay. 70. Because of 637, then we will see the it is the PM. Now then we will see the uh, half an hour. Then how it will uh, only that every half an hour it is the uh, happening. Okay, then we will see the 7 o'clock and then apply. So it is a 5.30 Chennai Kolkata time and then daily basis, then just I'm applying. Now, when I, as soon as apply, then you may see the details. Just we will see. Yeah, now then we will go into the our workspace. Okay. Just you go and then see there are visualization one data set. It is the next refresh is 9.10. So 7 p.m. Okay, then automatically when you on the system then it will refresh the data so that is the refresh so earlier there is no here 9 10 something is there so now once you connect the gateway then it automatically next refresh showing so now you see there are data set yes drls so there is no like uh, next refresh then we will this win also then we will connect how to connect then we will see go to the schedule refresh here and then you select this one and now then you go to the database connection. Just you click that one, then just you apply. Okay, as soon as you apply, then go to the schedule refresh. Now it will on. So I think some of the credentials, you want the credentials. This is the one I'm giving. Yeah, now you see, just you on the on daily basis, then you time. For example, the same thing, seven o'clock. Okay, it is a PM. Then you apply this one. Okay. Yes. It is a DRL refresh schedule updated. When you go to the your workspace and you see the now. Got it? This is the 9, 10, 7 p.m. Okay. This is the personal gateway. So, what is the difference between personal gateway and then uh, on premises gateway, on demand gateway? So, that is the only the difference is, for example, this is a personal gateway. For example, 7 p.m. So in the 7 p.m., for example, my system is disabled. For example, I log off now. Then in the 7 o'clock refresh not happen. So we will get the error here. So you may see this is the data description and then refresh history here. Then you may fail. For example, the it is the on-demand gateway. Either your system will off or your system will on. So then automatically it will refresh the data and then give the updated results whatever that so that is only the difference of the schedule and then on premises okay personal gateway sorry personal gateway and then on demand gateway so this is about the gateways hope you this is the high level uh explanation of the gateways how to connect the gateway and how to download the gateway how to install the gateway and how to give the schedule refreshes okay this is about the power bi Okay, thank you very much for your subscribing my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel, so please subscribe and 
प्लीज डू बेल आइकन फॉर अपडेटेड वीडियोस सो इन द एरलियर आई हैव अपलोडेड लॉट ऑफ वीडियोस सो प्लीज गो थ्रू द वीडियोस देन यू विल बेटर अंडरस्टैंड मी ओके थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग एंड देन थैंक यू साइनिंग ऑफ नवीन